Welcome to the latest news channel. The confirmed losses of the enemy in southern Ukraine have amounted today to 15 military personnel and more than 60 units of equipment, including 57 armored vehicles and automotive equipment. The overall situation in the operational zone of the southern regions is tense, dynamic in development, but controlled by the defense forces. The enemy continues to conduct combat operations on its defense lines, using insidious tactics of shelling Ukrainian rear areas and launching airstrikes, the operational command South posted on Facebook. At dawn, the Russians launched a massive missile strike from Nova Kakovka area using S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems. The explosive shells with high fragmentation damage were used to shell Bereznihuve district of Mykolaiv region, where the railway infrastructure objects were hit, and Balaika Oleksandrivka community of Kherson region, where elevator, fields, and roadways outside populated localities were hit. No significant damages or casualties were reported. In the area of Plotnitsky tract, the enemy, trying to restrain the advance of Ukrainian troops, fails in land operations and continues to attack from helicopters. Two such attempted attacks were unsuccessful, Ka-52s had to retreat dodging return fire. Instead, the Ukrainian missile and artillery units inflicted heavy damage on the command post of the Russian Guard near Kherson city and destroyed ammunition depots in various districts of Kherson region, the report says. As noted, the enemy ship group remains unchanged, missile and large landing ships patrol the stormy sea, continue to block shipping, and threaten to fire 16-caliber missiles.